Hey, you. Sitting in the wrong spot. Uh, this, this isn't a bar? It is. But it's our bar. Get up. Let's take a walk. Hey, leave him alone, cabrones. V. Hey, back off. Into our biz here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. You fuck off. Or I implant my blade in your ribs. Really? Mm. Wonder what Mama Wells would say. What she do when she sees you two gongs fucking up her joint? My best, she whip out her shotgun. Lost your head, though. Hey, come on, Pedro. No work. No work. Yo, fuck you! Carajo. Fucking punk. What? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up now. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? You would have caught a beating. This fucking town, these people, just here, minding my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. The rest, uh, bartender got the rest. No, V. V, you never learn, do you? Oh, is it chat time? Uh, come on, hit me with those pearls of wisdom. Get this over with. You laugh, but 50 years in purgatory? Enough time for a guy to get his head on straight. Come to some conclusions. Namely... People don't change, especially not people like Kirk. Think I don't know? Am I lending Kirk cred for a new Kuroshi? Are we going into biz together? No, of course something stinks. But in this town, you can't just wrinkle your nose and look the other way. Gotta find what's stinking up the joint and why. Otherwise, we'll step right in it. Came up in these streets, Johnny. I'm taking her myself. Sure, hope so, B. Hey! Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit! Barely recognize you. See, you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh. Well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, rimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. You feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V. Who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Yeah, it sounds too good to be true. <sighs> fuck it. It's worth a shot, at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later.
up, Kirk? Happy to see you too, but how about let's not broadcast it, hmm? Right, right, sorry. No need for a scene. Okay, see that garage right there? Van's inside. You go in, grab the tech, get out, we split it 50-50. Clear? Okay, in I go. Head on a swivel, right? You got it.
Reloading! Patience to track down that puta. the patience to track down that puta. Those are there.
this? Clothes? Mm-hmm. Cheap knockoffs, too. Had real great intel, that Kirk. Like always, actually. But hey, could strike out on your own. Open up a stand in Kabuki, or maybe... Implants. Fucking Militech wear. Who shoved these duds right up his ass. Now a firefight. Wow, the fun's just getting started. Have a good time, V.
I need cover!
lifetime. Nice speech. Remind me not to invite you to my funeral. How about him? Gonna tell anyone to scrape him up and put him under? No one to tell. Detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What? What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. Guy by the dumpster. That's your owner? Checking memory. Resources available, 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause, theft. Original owner, no data. Suggested solution, none. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request. No objections found. You still got all your functions. Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, what? bum, be dumb, What are you bum. doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum, be dumb, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 .01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, 
puppy-loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone-cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Um, well, guess I'll go with puppy-loving pacifist. Adjusting settings. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Ugh. Selected mode, puppy-loving pacifist. Enjoy permanently crippling your enemies.
circling him like sharks on a scent of fresh cotto blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in with me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. And say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. I'm on a double. No break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Based on it. Run me through. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Good lady did up here, me. Or I could get someone like you. And no more than an evening's work. And have to keep tabs on your wife. Follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smoke like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. But today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh... She had a blue purse, I think. Beautiful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Sure she's cheating on you? Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. It used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why do you want to know where she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gone question is that? Simple one. Answer. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay. Fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. CD Bar's betrayal of beguiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story, an unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. You about done? I'm trying to focus. <laughs> on the scene, looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by... Dreaming of the day the narrator put a fucking plug. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. The woman looked around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up, I'm gonna fucking puke. Narrate that.
The woman passes a bum, gives him a wide berth, doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, what did I ever do to you? of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Be careful! Maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Well, well, well. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. Wait. No! It's... It's not like that. I... I can explain. Go on, then. Let's hear it. Okay. For, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. Specialist? In this dump? Look, I know. I, I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim... Uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. What about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But... Why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich basic bitch everyone's got their own secret something they want to forget or leave behind them i i had a lot of them and i can't share them with anyone not even my own husband i know i should have told pepe about all this but there was never a good time and and now that i'm expecting again it oh it it, it wasn't it wasn't planned please uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. 